Hello everyone, Isabella Reese for the Reese Momentum, agency that is doing product research and validation that is beating your competitor before you spend a dime on inventory guarantee. Today, we're going to talk about the software. Why should you use one over another? So, and today my focus will be with Helium 10. Why are you supposed to use Helium 10? First of all, I love them and I was even diving from the plane, doing the skydiving, of course, with the parachute uh, by promoting them and yelling this Helium 10 is the best. Generally speaking, with Cap of several and several buttons you can see what is going on on a listing you can see what is going on in the market if you don't know how to use helium 10 please watch my previous video and it will be somewhere here 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 that you will be able to see like how the analytics of the product looks like however the number one when you're looking at the product research with one button helium 10 made their x-ray very very useful so let's see quickly how it looks like so let's take a look for example to the product like Montessori, Montessori toys, right? Keep in mind that Helium 10 is providing you a lot of different type of the insights with the keywords, and they're also showing you what type of the keywords has growth for the past, I believe, uh, 90 days. So we're looking at the data in the past. So Montessori toys for one years old. Let's take a look at this keyword. Let's take a look what we can see and find out on the market. Find out, my guy. By the way, I have this one for my baby. And Helium 10 by just with one button will show us x-ray and not every single person can see and understand what you can see on the x-ray but just using x-ray you can have the whole presentation of the picture what is going on on the market so first of all we can see here 46,000 search volume per month which is not bad at all the total revenue of the market is almost five million dollars per month so if you don't understand what does it mean like if you don't understand what revenue you're looking at you can all or like any type of the indication you can always click to the question mark and you will be able to see what it is average revenue is hundred thousand dollars average price is 21 average bsr bsr if you don't know what it is is the seller rank which means is lower bsr is bigger sales is higher bsr is lower sales so if this bsr is really good average reviews is two thousand so in here you have to kind of stop yourself and ask how much time will take me to get into 2000 reviews and keep in mind when you're asking yourself this question you have to understand that people are giving you about five percent of your buyers are giving you the review voluntarily so to get yourself into 2000 of reviews you have to sell about 40,000 units is it something that looks for you reasonable in the like some near future or not which means in case if you will decide to sell some type of the montessori toys you have to build your community or find another way but we're not going to talk about it right now if you're interested to build your product or find a great opportunity you can always sign up below on our website retarm.com and my team will be more than happy to find the product for you that will beat your competitors before you'll spend time on inventory however when we are looking into the x-ray what else we can see here the number one i want you to take a look at the saturation of the market who are the main competitors and if you see a lot of overseas sellers over united states and european and other marketplaces you probably should warn yourself because how high likely this market will be based on the overseas sellers that will are not playing always the fair game on the market you also should take a look at the review velocity what was happening with the sellers and we are going to do it right now in a second and the 10 percent of the u.s sellers here how likely are big brands so to prove something that i was just saying look someone that is sponsored with twelve thousand reviews they are still in the sponsored here they had to plus 34 reviews for the past month so if they are and you can always see like if you forget what is the time frame here you can always uh, use your cursor and you'll be able to see the definition so if they got 34 reviews for the past month which means they are gaining about 300 400 reviews a year which is like pretty huge amount and when they're having q4 or some like uh, type of the sale black friday they're having more so it will be very hard to keep up or like for example this one seller they got 
100 review for the past month. If they already have on 600 and they're adding 100 reviews, how likely it is not realistic. They did not sell for the past month 2,000 units to get 100 reviews. And if we will look, no, they actually sold 9,000 units. I'm wrong. They sold 9,000 units, so they got 100 reviews, but it's so unrealistic to have 600 reviews when they launch the product. Let's see when they launch the product in September. September of 2022 and they just got into the 600 reviews which 100 review for the past month so something is off here if it's or they have some type of the influential marketing on a back end or they're driving some weird traffic or they're adding reviews on their listings or something else but it it is off. So when you see this type of the numbers, like hundreds of thousands in sales, weird review range, and something looks unrealistic, so you have to warn yourself. And when you see this type of the picture on the market here happening pretty often, pretty much with every single seller, it is not organic. So you have to be prepared. Like going to this market, you will be struggling with not fair competition. Okay, moving forward, we're looking at the dimensions. So dimensions are important because dimensions will be affecting your shipping costs, your Amazon fees, etc. So you're looking at your weight, right? So for example, some type of, and I agree, some type of the products here might be light, some type of the products here might be heavy, and you can look at the different one of them. So for example, this one is at five pounds and you can see they already, yeah, they still have a lot of reviews. They are pushing almost $2 million a month by selling this bike. Of course, it's also summer. We don't want to compete with these people. We probably shouldn't sell these products. However, let's take a look what, what else we can see here. Most of the products here are private label. We have just only a couple of them that are selling as third-party sellers, which means you're going to compete with private label sellers. It's a good and a bad thing at the same time. And uh, you have to look at the Amazon fees where you're supposed to be at. And you have to look at the proportion of the price and the fees. Sometimes if you don't feel comfortable to look at the, like to go with the charge, back and forth you can always move the columns closer so you'll be able to see the proportion closer something that is more comfortable for you uh, so don't be always based on something that is by default uh, structure so if our fees are more than 30 percent you don't have to go and, and, uh, and like keep going with this product because if you're already at more than 30 percent with fees at the super competitive niche you will be bleeding a lot of money into your ppc when we're looking at the then we're looking into the sales so how many units we can push a month the potential is huge but again at what cost revenue of course everyone wants to have this revenue bsr also amazing which like we saw here initially and we already spoke with you about the saturation of sellers we have to take a look at the rating it's also important and this is something that you can see here and why the rating is important is because you can see the potential of the product you are going to launch on amazon with your consumers and when you're with your buyers love do they actually love the product do they actually don't like the product because sometimes in a lot of niches the rating of the product is like very low which means you have a lot of opportunities to improve it if the rating of the product is already pretty high it's lower opportunity for you to create something that will that everybody will love, right? Then also look at the amount of images everybody are using. And some of the competitors are missing the opportunity to use all eight, but the majority of them are using seven, eight pictures, which means they're trying to communicate with their consumers as, as best as it possible. And what else you can see here? You can see here the sales graph. So the sales graph shows you how good or bad been sales for the specific product within a time. You can always do here, like all time, one year, 90 days and 30 days. So if something will, and like you can, of course, you can look at the reviews, you can look at the BSR, you can look at the sales, uh, and you can be based on this different type of the time frame. So the main thing I wanted to show you in this video is that to make sure when you're using Helium 10, you are going to look into the picture carefully from A to B because software creates for you a lot of opportunities to take a look at a lot of features you have to take a look at but a lot of people that are hesitating to 
open their eyes and actually look into the opportunities. So if you're missing the opportunities that software been developing for you to make sure you're not making the mistakes, you will create an illusion of like good products with the opportunities to develop instead of actually see the real picture of the world. And I hope this video was useful. If you want to get free access for the course of the private label for one month, you have to subscribe with the coupon code below this video and uh, send us the proof of the subscription to amazonadreadsarm.com and we will give you the access to the private label course on how you can develop your product and you'll be able to watch this and rewatch the recordings within a month. And if you would want to, you will be able to purchase it in the future. But I believe one month will be more than enough for you to learn from us for free. I hope this video was useful. Of course, like, comment below and it will be your appreciation to my time. And uh, see you in the next video.